Hello, my fabulous English 113 students. Welcome to week two of this class. It's online class. What are we doing this week? We're going to understand what plagiarism is and how to avoid it. We're going to do that by watching this lecture down here. You get to write an essay. You get to reflect on your experience with writing. We'll talk about that in a second. You're going to understand the rules for this course and to agree to them. We'll talk about that in a second. And you should have started reading the book Raisin in the Sun. Continue reading it that this week. So, what are the items that are due? You get to watch the lecture on plagiarism again. Just if you click right here, it'll pull up a video. Watch it. It's not super long, but it does explain that please don't plagiarize. Please don't cheat. That's just going to hurt you, and I don't, I don't want to see students get hurt. So please, please, please understand what plagiarism is. Okay, for essay one, okay, submitting essay one, that is going to be due on August 26th, 22nd, rather, by 11.55 p.m. Every single assignment in this class, just about every single assignment, is going to be due on Monday nights by 11.55 p.m. You don't have to wait till Monday to do it, but everything's due by Monday. And if you look at Moodle here, if you look down here to upcoming events, it shows you the things that are due next. What? Yeah, pretty cool, huh? So, um, essay one, and then you're going to submit the student acknowledgement form, which we'll talk about in a second, and then you get to read a poem called We Real Cool. Okay, so, so we talked about the plagiarism. going to watch that video, not very long. Essay one, so I want you to write a paragraph of at least 300 words, at least 300 words about your experience with writing. And these are the questions. Do you enjoy writing? Do you dislike writing? What kind of writing have you done so far? Give an example of an experience that you had, you've had with writing. In addition, make a list of your strengths and weaknesses in writing. What do you do well as a writer? What are some aspects of writing you can improve upon? Now, in order for you to submit this, so you type it up on a Word document, and you save it to your computer, and then to submit it, you click on this, and it brings you to this, and this will show you the rubric. It shows you exactly how I'm going to grade it. If you have more than 300 words, you'd get that many points. And then the spelling and grammar mistakes. Basically what I'm looking for is when you submit the Word document, if there are misspelled words that Word has said, look, this is misspelled because it's got a little red squiggly line underneath it, fix it. If you haven't fixed it, you'll lose points. So that's how you earn points on this. So um, you've, you've written your assignment. You're going to submit it, so you click on Add Submission. Easiest way to do this is to find the file somewhere. Let's say you, let's say this is the file right here. You're going to drag it and drop it. Boop! And then you hit Save Changes, and then that would have submitted the file. So that's how you do essay number one. Okay? Very good. All right, back to week two. What else are we doing for week two? Okay, so we've um, you, last week you were supposed to read the syllabus. And there's a bunch of rules in the syllabus, and then the, the videos also explain the rules for the class. Um, we need to make sure that you understand that you are required to follow these. So, to do that, there is the student acknowledgement form. So what you do is you click on this. Whoop. Okay, and you have to print this. If you go up here and you hit print, it'll print. Okay, and it's, there's two pages. There's this page here, and this page here. Okay, for this information up here, your name, hopefully you know that. Semester year, fall 2016, instructor, Professor Morgan, class and section, ENG 113-801, ENG 113-801, that is this class, okay? You read through this, okay, and you sign and date. Again, so you've printed this, and then you fill all this out, you sign and date, and then this is the school one, you read all this, you sign, you print, and you date. Okay, after you have filled out these forms, so you printed them, you signed them, then you need to send them back to me. Okay, well, how do you do that? Well, there's a few different ways you can do it. Okay, you're going to upload the form again this way. So kind of the same way, you'd hit Add Submission, click, and then you would submit the forms. Now, um, since you've printed them up and you have them signed, how do you get those two to your computer? Well, there's a couple of different ways. You can scan them if you have a scanner. Or you can take a picture with your phone um, and then send those pictures to me, okay? But if you need help with this, ask somebody. As I said at the beginning of the class, this class, you need to be a little technically, uh, technically savvy to do this. The point is I need signed copies of those documents, and they need to be sent this way. What happens if you don't? Well, basically, I will not accept any assignments for grading until I have both of these forms. 
So if you don't do this, you will get a zero on all the assignments that you submit until I have these forms. Pretty big deal. It is a big deal, yes. Also for week two, we are going to be doing a reading called We Real Cool. If you click on this link, that'll take you to it. I don't want to spoil it. Or you can copy and paste this into your browser. The poem is very short, but it's going to introduce the concept of poetry, which we'll be getting into for week three. So that's what's going on for week two. So again, what's due? Write up essay one. The instructions are right there. Student acknowledgement forms. You're going to print these up, sign them, scan them in, or take a picture of them into your computer, and then submit them through here, and then read that poem. So that's what we're doing for week two. If you have questions, email me. Again, I am not technical support, so if the questions are, I don't know how to scan something, how do I scan something? I don't have the answer for you, okay? Um, because what your computer can do and what your scanner can do may be different from mine and may be different from my knowledge, okay? But uh, that's what you need to do. There you go. Okay. Uh, have a wonderful week, and go get them.